CS Professor Kithure Kindiki has called on Kenyans and churches to come out in large numbers and give their views from the 13th of June when the Special Task Force on Religious Organizations begins its sittings across the country. Kindiki has also assured Kenyans that the third phase of Shakahola exhumation exercise will begin this Monday and around 22 mass graves will be exhumed. Willy Lusige reports. As the former Mbere South constituency member of parliament, Reverend Mutava Musimi led task force begins collecting views from Kenyans across the country on regulation of religion in the country. Interior CS Kithure Kindiki has called on Kenyans and churches to come out in large numbers and give their views. And I want to request the people of Kenyaga, the people of Kenya, to come out and speak openly and candidly on what you want us to do as government, what we need to strengthen in terms of policies, laws, procedures, to make sure that a few people hiding behind the Bible and the Holy Scriptures of God do not misuse the constitutional right to the freedom of worship. The task force first public sitting will be on 13th of June in Kilifi County, a day later in Lamu, Tana River in Kwale counties. The task force will then head to Kakamega, Vihig and Homa Bay counties on 19th. The task force will visit different counties before their final forums in Nairobi between the 2nd and 8th of August. The team will then compile a report and hand it over to President William Ruto. And come up with recommendations on how we need to change our policies our laws and our procedures of registering religious organizations. Kindiki saying that the third phase of exhumation exercise at Shakahola will begin on Monday and there are about 22 more graves that may contain multiple bodies in the area and the death toll might rise to a higher number. Tutaendelea na ile zoezi tulikuwa tumezimamisha la kutafuta mili ya watu wetu ambao warifariki na hii ndio itakuwa awamu ya tatu na ule mwakenzi ule atoki jela tena ule atoki jela atazekea pale jela na tunaomba Mungu amweke miaka mingi ndio aone Kenya ambayo itakuwa Kenya salama ambayo itakuwa na hii maneno yake ya upumbavu wili lusige kete news nairobi as Kenya joins